Hey everybody, Mike from Anglers here to go over uh, how to clean. This is a Springfield Armory Hellcat. So um, it's going to be one of our featured guns on sale during the event this weekend, the 28th to the 31st. Um, it's going to be some great savings on this particular gun. Um, this is one of my actual guns here. And it's fairly dirty. I've shot it quite a bit. So um, I'm going to show you how to clean it, and especially with this um, handy dandy boar snake, I will go in depth on how to use this and how why these are such great tools for cleaning a firearm. So first of all, we'll make sure the gun is unloaded. It is. Okay, I'm going to pull the trigger. Pull back. This has a little lever right here. You're going to push up on that. Pull back on the slide. Release it. Pull the trigger and pull the slide off. Just like that. So now you have the frame as well as the slide. Next thing we're going to do is take the recoil spring out by just depressing it in towards... As I like to do it towards me. That'll pop out. Next, you can just pop out your barrel, as you can see. So now you have just a strip slide, barrel, recoil spring, frame, magazine. So we're not going to do anything with the magazine, so we can put that off to the side. So what I like to do is to start off with the, um, the barrel, the recoil spring, and the um, slide. So what I'll do is I'll take some type of cleaner. Um, I'm going to use the Foul Blaster from Pro Shot Products. It's good, especially if it's a deep deeply dirty gun you can really just let it soak so what i'll do is i'll just spray it on all those parts let it soak kind of get in the good spots and then what i'll do is just get the barrel and soak it okay and then let that soak while that soaks what i'll do is i will get a rag here i like to use these pro shot rags just because they're they're nifty and they're neat to in perfect your application you can just throw them in the wash and clean them well i'll spray some on the the rag here and what i'll do is just get the main big parts and just kind of wipe the gun down as i can now this is not a full strip usually if i do it once a year i'll take all the pins out and i'll take the um all the the different parts of the gun the trigger the um slide release everything out and do a deep cleaning but this is a good um once every few times you shoot it um so what i'll do is just kind of wipe off the main parts then what I'll do is I'll get one of these nylon brushes, spray some of the cleaner on that. Then what I'll do is I'll get in all the hard to reach places that you can't really reach with the, the rag. Kind of get it all kind of clean. Just scrub it like you're scrubbing your teeth. Get it all in there. Try to see where you can find all the dirty spots. Scrub a dub dub. Get another piece of the rag. It's a little bit that has no... um. Um, solvent on it and just kind of wipe it off and make sure that it looks fairly clean kind of like so as you can see it's fairly dirty and I would spend a lot of time on this but for um, time sakes I'm not going to actually spend the most time on that so as your barrel and everything has been soaking um, I'll take a rag and I'll start off by just wiping off the slide like that, like so. Just kind of get in the slide if you can, and wipe off all the parts that you are able to reach. I'll take my handy dandy toothbrush um, again, and just wipe off the bolt face there. And get the extractor, kind of get in all those little spots that you can't really reach um, with the rag. I'll kind of dry it off, make sure it looks good. I'll take the um, barrel, and what I'll do is I'll just wipe the outside of the barrel here. As you can see. And now, the favorite part. I don't know if you can really see. It's a super dirty barrel. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see. So, um, what I'll do, take the boar snake. It has this long string part here. It has a brass weight on the end. So, these are caliber specific. So, I have the, the 9 millimeter pistol one here. Um... What I'll do is I'll take it. Um, this is all personal preference. Either way, you can do it. What I'll do is I'll take some of the solvent. You can use any solvent. I'll put it on the front of it, kind of give a good soak. I'll put it behind the bristles. And then what I'll do is I'll put it on this little fatter end at the back. That way you get good coverage. What I'll do, take the brass weight. Always try to do it from the breech. Um, so you can do this with the gun fully put together or separate. So what I'll usually do is, force of habit, do the breech to the muzzle. So what I'll do is I'll drop the weight down, pull the through, and then pull your snake through. And I'll do that about 
usually twice, just like so. Get a good clean. As you can see, I don't know if you can zoom in there and kind of see how clean it looks now. So this is a good, it's not a super, super in-depth cleaning, but it's good to do after almost every time you shoot it, after um, if you're doing just a quick um, cleaning for your gun. Um, and then, um, nice thing about it, you can wrap it all up, put it back in your little handy dandy container that it comes in, as you can see. And then you can close it up and put it in your range bag, things like that. Um, but, so the cool thing about this, it has, so it's all in one cleaning. So it has all the different material here and then it has that brass um, bristle that's woven into the actual snake. So that's really nice to get that crud that's really caked on inside um, the, the barrel. So next thing we'll do is wipe off the recoil spring. Just make sure that's nice and clean. Like I said, you can go more of an in-depth clean. I'm just doing it for time's sake. Then I'll take your, you can take your favorite oil. Right now I'm using just a hops number nine on um, lubricating oil. I'll put a little bit on the um, recoil spring here and just kind of rub it in. You don't need a ton. And then what I'll do is I'll get a little bit. And what I'll do here is they have these little, I don't have a poker, but I'll use the brush. So you have these little rails that go down here. So these interface with that. So what I want to do is make sure I put a dab of oil there a dab of oil on the other side and what i'll do is kind of face the slide up and down so it kind of drips down and follows that um groove down and then what i'll do i'll put a little on there just to make sure it's fully coated and as you can see here you can see some metal wear so that's where you want to make sure you have lubrication on your firearm is wherever metal on metal contact so i have put some there there and then i'll just put a little bit back here on these springs just to, just a little bit you don't need a ton um and then make sure I put a little bit on the middle here. Like I said, you don't need a ton, then I'll just use the excess that's on my finger. Just kind of wipe out the inside. Just make sure everything looks, has a nice little coat of oil. You don't need a ton. Then what I'll do is I'll reassemble the firearm. So what I'll do is I'll take my, well, I can't forget to put the oil of the barrel. You gotta, it definitely needs some oil on the outsides. I like to just cut a small little coat. You know, you can use it, put on a rag, wipe it. I just use my fingers just because it's easier for me personally. So what I'll do is, after that's nice and oiled, I will take it, reinstall the barrel, reinstall the recoil spring, just like so. Okay, make sure everything is locked into place, looks good. I'll take the, the frame, ride this right back on, as you can see. Lock back the slide by pulling back, locking it back, and boop, popping that down, and then function testing. Nice and smooth, pull the trigger, make sure that comes, make sure a good reset make sure everything works and then i'll just take my rag and just wipe off the extra oil on the outside so as you can see there so now you got a well lubricated um clean firearm you can do it as much as you want as little as you want it's all personal preference but the nice thing as i said earlier about the boar snake you can do it without disassembling the whole firearm so what you can do is take your boar snake and open the action like I said, breech to muzzle. You don't want to put all the crud that's in your barrel back into your gun. So what you want to do is work from the breech all the way out to the muzzle. So what I'll do is I'll just drop that in down the barrel like that. It's just another demonstration of a way to do it and then just kind of feed it through. So these are great to do after you shoot at the range, just a quick cleaning, um, but it does a very good job at cleaning. So, um, Thanks, guys. We'll have these are going to be on a deep discount. All boar snakes for the sale. They're going to be 50% off this weekend, the 28th through the 31st, as long as, as well as all the cleaning stuff is going to be discounted, um, and as well as this uh, Hellcat. So we'll hopefully see you this weekend, and good luck out there and have fun.